Okay, we're back. And I got to uh, put the chat up on front and make this full screen again. Whee! So, when we last left our hero, Yonator Fred, he he just blew up a spider with a monster, or a monster with a spider. Ooh, I think it was. Ooh, and now we've got a gleaming chunk of Orat's anatomy. Let's get Ugh. a let's get a chunk. Great. <laughs> you reach down, take the Orat part. Some of um. it. Some of it oozes to fill the space between your fingers. Um. Well, that's a uh, that's descriptive enough for you. The quest of space for science. <laughs> anyway, so much like the bridge in King's Quest Two that we was infamously talked about earlier. There's a bridge in this game that also cracks, and I mean also falls apart if you cross it too many times. Fortunately in this game, there's cracks to show you that it will fall apart. I think I can cross it once more, because I hope so, or else I'm doomed. Yeah, if I cross that one more time, then it breaks and you die. So, don't screw that up. Anyway. The heat is causing you to develop quite a thirst. You place your lips to the nozzle and draw. A fluid, not a very reasonable facsimile of water, is released slowly. While tasting slightly terrible, it quenches your thirst, at least for the time being. Oh, well, that's nice. That's why you had to get the survival kit, so you had your dehydrated water. <laughs> Because that makes so much sense. Anyway, so now this this is just kind of a copy and paste, getting back to the giant alien bug eyed. So while that's happening, uh, what things have you been doodling so far? Hey, I'm not supposed to tell. You, you can tell if you want. I'm I'm not going to complain. Okay, fine. Did a drawing of. The lady in the mirror from the beginning. <laughs> beautiful. The, the beautiful, hideous maiden. Um, I like it already. Did a drawing of the genie. Cool. Even though he's on screen for like half a second. Right. And I did a drawing of the... <laughs> you guessed it. The Dracos castle? The, the, the rectangular castle. <laughs> Excellent. So, it's phenomenal. So nothing from Space Quest has inspired you yet? Oh yeah, some of it has. Okay, I'm getting to it. All right, all right. All right. Don't want to, don't want to rush you. But so, so there are some things to whet your at your appetite. I was going to say added. Wow, oh, I was too close. <laughs> I'm dead. Well, <laughs> thanks, Space Quest, for killing me for not eh, spooky. What you get for being a doofus? Hey. I'll have you know that Jan Eitor Fred is not a doofus. He just has a dumb name. Wow, that should have hit me. Doink. That was easy the first time. Fliver, snip, nestro. Anyway, let's go talk to Mumbly Joe again. Uh oh. Why don't you draw this guy? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so, you return. Fortunately, there's much more to you than meets the eye. It either means you're a transformer or he just really insulted you. Possibly both. Drop before me your proof of Warat's defeat for my inspection. Yep. Splunch. Here's Borat's thingy. <laughs> Borat. You heard me. I heard. There's a. Well, let's go see the great and powerful Kraz. <laughs> no, look out! He's Andros. No, he's just that guy. Uh, ooh, four arms. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What pop what, culture what? reference? What? Those uh, and literary reference. The four arm things with the heads like that. Uh huh. 
They're usually green, but they were originally introduced in John Carter. If you've seen the movie John Carter, well, mm-hmm. it's based on a book who, by the same guy who wrote uh, Tarzan back in the day. I can't remember his name. Uh, Tarzan Bob. Yes. <laughs> the man who wrote Tarzan was named Tarzan Bob. You heard me. Um, Edgar Rice Burroughs. There we go. He wrote that and he made those four-armed uh, creatures. Edgar- so this is a reference to that. Edgar- Far before the John Carter movie came out. Right. But long after the book. Also, they're giving us a skimmer because of Grell. Grell is that thing that eats you if you're on the top and walk the wrong way. So, here's, here's something clever for you. The skimmer's program to take you to a settlement called Ulint's Flats. Now, does that sound like it means anything? Um... Is it the the salt flats from I'll, Utah? I'll give you a hint. It's a fart joke. Oh, I get it. Flat. You, you reverse the words. Flats. And, yeah. Ones. Anyway. So they give us the skimmer, and there. That's cool. Well, get out of my face. Hey, here's something else.